Hi there, one of the most popular attractions at IBC 2015 has been this product, Sony's FS5. As you can see, it's a smaller, lightweight version of the very popular FS7, and we've partnered it with our smallest, lightweight, 7-inch 4K monitor recorder, the Ninja Assassin. This was actually used in the shooting of the launch video for the FS5, and that's the reason why we've got one of the only models available in the world on the Atomos booth. Another announcement, very popular at IBC 2015, is our OS 6.5 update for both Shogun and Ninja Assassin. It adds a heap of new features and functionality, which I want to show you right now. Probably the headline feature, which you'll be able to see here, is the fact that we're now able to accept raw signal from Canon C500 and C300 Mark II. And what that does is it turns a C500 into a 4K camera by adding the Shogun, but also for the C300 Mark II, it gives those users a really affordable media option. You're no longer constrained to record your 4K onto CFast cards. You can use the affordable media that we use on board the Shogun to give you that affordable 4K recording solution. So that's the SDI RAW, C500 and C300 Mark II. But that's not all we've added on for OS 6.5. Outside of that also, because the SDI functionality, those, those RAW recording is only for Shogun. Another feature that's only for Shogun with OS 6.5 is LTC input. So we're now utilizing the Genlock input here to also allow you to use LTC. So in playback, we'll still use Genlock, but in recording, you're able to use LTC for time code. So that's an upgrade, again, that's been unlocked with OS 6.5 for Shogun. The remaining features that are available on both Shogun and Ninja Assassin are a couple of really good ones. The first one I want to show you is in time-lapse. So you come in from the input, go into your time-lapse recording, and you can see now we're adding in motion blur. Now what this does is essentially merges 65 frames, consecutive frames, into a single frames, which gives you a lot more creativity in your time-lapse video recording. So those nighttime scenes with lights, when they get merged from 65 frames down to a single, gives you this nice, smooth video time-lapse, which looks amazing. So outside of time-lapse, what we've also done is, of course, listen to all the feedback we've been getting, and we've improved dramatically our frame guides. So in terms of title and action frames, we've added in a whole heap more. We've got 16 by 9, 2.4, 235, 1.9, 185, 4x3, there are heaps more and they're easier and clearer to see so you're getting your shot set up perfect. So they're the, they're the new features and functionality we've added in to OS 6.5, available to download, download now from the support section of the Atomos website. One of the most popular parts of the Atomos booth is actually our range wall, where people are seeing an incredible new price point for our HD range. Samurai Blade, Ninja Blade and Ninja 2 are all about half their price of what before IBC as when we opened at IBC. So these are all incredibly popular products. We've sold over 100,000 units in five years at Atomos and largely it's because of this HD range. And now they're sub $500 for the Blade series at 495 euro and 495 US. And the Ninja 2 is the world's first monitor recorder under $300. Still that enables you to, be, to get to bypass the 30 minute recording barrier that you see on most DSLR cameras. You're recording direct to ProRes or DNX HD and onto affordable media that lets you bypass some of the expensive CF or CFAST cards that you're able to get inside these DSLR cameras. One of the newest members of the Atomos family is this fella. Shogun Studio, and we're showing all the crowds here at IBC exactly what this product can do. What you're looking at here is a dual channel, 4K and HD, seven inch rack mounted product, perfect for 4K for live events, broadcasts and the like. You've got full scopes as you can see here. You've also got multi-resolution, multi-codec recording. So we can be doing 4K on one channel, HD on the other. We could be doing ProRes on this one, and either LT version of ProRes or D even DNX HR on the other. So it's extremely flexible, packs a lot of features in, in a tiny 3RU height. Apart from that, apart from just the two separate channels, we also have some great control. So you're able to do RS422 or AMP control over Ethernet to be able to schedule, rec, start, record. So apart from being able to do ProRes and DNX, from being able to do 4K, 
and HD, there's a few other smart little features inside the Shogun Studio. For starters, we can do continuous record. When this drive on channel one fills up, it automatically will switch across to channel two to ensure that you continue without stopping. The second thing we're able to do is have redundant power. So if you get a failure, it'll automatically switch across to your other power supply to again ensure you continue without stopping. So one of the most popular products here at IBC 2015 is the Ninja Assassin, and we've got them all out on display here at the Atomus booth. So what this is, it's a long-awaited 4K upgrade to our popular Ninja range. It's a monitor recorder, of course. It features 4K and high frame rate HD. We're able to record to ProRes and DNxHR, the 4K version for Avid. Uh, and you're also able to review your footage in playback, and you've got a whole suite of those monitor tools and advanced recording features that you see already in Shogun. So we've got our 3D LUTs, we've got time lapse, we've got anamorphic D squeeze, we've got focus peaking two to one zoom, all those features you've come to love on the Shogun, but it's now in a dedicated HDMI only for these DSLM and DSLR cameras. And with that, it comes at 10% less weight compared to the Shogun. So it's about the same weight as you would expect in other five inch models, but it's got that perfect seven inch size that we think is absolutely mandatory for 4K monitoring.